What's up, everybody? Hey. Thank you all for being here tonight. Really appreciate it. My name is Jason. I'm an alcoholic. Yeah. We got any other drinkers in the house tonight? I see we got a couple. That's good. Everybody's having a good time out here. That's what we like to see. What about any crackheads? I'm going to go with no. I don't have the crackhead vibe in here tonight. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, full disclosure, I'm a recovering alcoholic, or an alcoholic recovering from a drug addiction. Um, who knew that alcohol was a gateway drug to crack cocaine? <laughs> After a few trips to the psych unit, I started to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, um, recovery's been good to me, though, all jokes aside. Recovery is a beautiful thing. Um, I, uh, it's given me uh, two wives, one of which I'm still married to. It's given me five beautiful children and one ugly one. And, um, yeah, uh, raising kids is very difficult, that's for sure. And it's definitely easier doing it sober than it was when I was high and uh, drinking all the time. Um, but yeah, they're not any cheaper. They're not any cheaper. <laughs> My kids try to convince me that they're helping me. They're part of my uh, relapse prevention program by taking all my money. <laughs> uh, recently, I was out in California. I was surfing with my uncle, and uh, he looks over and he's like, dude, that's, what he, that's how he sounds. He's like, dude, what are you doing with this big tattoo of your dad on your ribcage? And, uh, you know, I thought it was a nice little tip of the hat after he passed away. Um, Growing up thinking that he was a Vietnam veteran, I got, you know, the 8x10 portrait, uh, the black and white portrait on my ribcage. And uh, I'm out there, and my uncle's like, dude, your dad is not a Vietnam veteran. Your dad was AWOL. I said, you know what's not AWOL? It's this tattoo that I've got on my ribcage. So a tip of the hat to all the men and women who have served our country. I have a picture of your face tattooed on me for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, so my wife and I, we affectionately refer to our quiet time as sober sex. It's, it's a lot different than cyber sex. But that's recovery for you. We've had sex over a hundred times all in the same position. Not too long ago, we were doing our thing, and we hear this like clicking and popping, and clicking and popping, and we're talking, and we're figuring it out, you know, and we look down at our knee, and we're like, nah, it can't be our knee. And um, we go back to doing our thing, and we hear the clicking and popping again, clicking and popping, and we're like, what is that? I'm like, it literally sounded like we were, she had uh, uh, legal pads in between her knees and the mattress. Yeah, getting old is not for the faint of heart. But it beats the alternative, right? Yes. Well, listen, uh, I've got to get back to it uh, before the rehab facility realizes that I've gone for the night. So. You guys have all been great. Thank you for being here.